and need a couple pieces of plastic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the first piece of plastic on the ground here so that uh, the rock that I make won't stick to the ground. There we go. Next thing I'm going to do I've got some um, wadded up newspaper, whatever. I'm using an old piece of old uh, concrete bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this thing. And stuff it into places where I don't want the concrete to get in underneath to make an undercut. Wherever there's an undercut, So I can't get the thing off. So that's my next step. So I should be able to pour and lift the rock right off. Then I'll take another sheet of plastic. Let me put the a little bit. Put the plastic around it. The whole thing. Again, the concrete doesn't stick to it, and now I'm going to pour concrete. Well, what I have here is my usual three to one styrofoam mix, lightweight, mortar cement, styrofoam, a little bit of sand, fiber, and acrylic polymer. And I'm going to start putting this right around the thing that I want to cover. Good enough. We'll just let that harden overnight. And then we'll come back and look at it before we finish cover. Okay, here we are a day later. And this sitting overnight, hold the plastic over and keep the moisture in. And uh, now we're going to take hold of this. And we're going to lift it off. Peel the plastic off. Put the plastic out of the way after we remove this paper. have a rough casting. It will fit nicely over the top. The next step is to put a finished coat on the rock with a 3 to 1 sand cement mixture. Okay, shell. Off the excess here. And then mixed up some 2 to 1. our rock covered now with the tinted sand cement mixture. We'll let that set a little bit and then I'll come back and smooth it with a brush. Because uh, Since this is going to be handled we don't want this to be a, a rough rock. We want this to be relatively smooth. I have some 3 to 1 acrylic I'm going to take and I'm just going to take the brush onto this and brush out tool marks. Smooth this out a little bit. Then we'll come back and we'll put a little texture on it.
Now I'm just going to take a plastic bag and wrinkle it up. Press it down here. Pull it off. Give it a nice texture. Pull this rock without making it too rough. See what that plastic bag does for us. Nice rocky texture. Okay, here's our cover rock. It's uh, now it has a smooth coating on the outside, been textured, and shows you how to color this a little bit with some acid stain. It's color called taupe. And we'll just decide it takes a while for it to react. This will take away that gray color. We'll end up with a more brown color. Make no fuss about this. This stuff works by actually reacting with ingredients in the concrete itself. Okay, the inside has been sealed. And now we'll turn it over here. And that's how it fits. Just like that. That's all there is to it. Remember, you just put the wet paper underneath to make sure you don't have any undercuts. Plastic underneath. Then cover the valve or the object you want to cover with plastic. And then uh, put the coat of lightweight concrete on, followed by a layer of sand, mortar, cement, and uh, let it and stain it. I used an acid based stain. See, I missed one spot down there. And then uh, cover it with a concrete sealer. And that's all there is to it. Let that dry. It probably weighs in the neighborhood of about 10 12 pounds, is all. You lift it off, set it back on. And it's uh, strong enough to take the weight of anybody that steps on it. And uh, Looks better than that valve sticking out there.